Hello, my darlings. I'm speaking to you today from the most gorgeous, blissful, delicious heat wave on Exmoor, which apparently is going to last all week. I'm so happy. But our poor school children, I honestly think there's some kind of warped school god up there who decides to just give us a heat wave. The week, you know, the first two weeks, the kids are all back at school and melt them like little twixes or little flakes out on a table in the sun and they just wilt into these pools of desperation you know and they're all being tested again and all this so how are we going to keep on top of it well as you know from my videos before if if you've managed to survive all of those because they're like small documentaries I'm so sorry about that I get so carried away um we've got three brains haven't we we've got our cognitive brains we've got our emotional brains which are part of our cognitive brains it's where fight or flight is actually located that little light switch and we've got our enteric brain our limbic brain the gut as well and also right deep in the brain so it's all connected it's all connected they all talk to each other there's this whole three-way zoom call going on the whole time inside our bodies so I thought today what I'd do is show you how to do a little brain workout every morning so that you're firing on all cylinders. Because let's face it, when it's hot, it is really, really hard to kind of, you know, sit in baking hot classrooms and focus and concentrate and all of those things which we need to do. So that's out of our control. We can't help that. That's going to happen anyway. But what we can do is take our mental health, our brain power, us, we can take us in hand and how we react to that. So how we're going to react to that is by polishing our cockpits. <laughs> and that just sounds completely wrong in so many ways. And, you know, a bit loopy really. But if you imagine that you are a jumbo jet, the front of your head, that frontal lobe, as they call it, when I did my training, frontal lobe, houses all our higher executive brain functions. So all the things like focus, attention, motivation, concentration, that gorgeous feeling of reward, um, you know, that, that drive, that drive, feeling on top of things, you can cope and function, you're on top of the world, all of those things. And a lot of that comes from the dopamine as well. That's that beautiful hormone, which buzzes around our brains and actually buzzes up from the gut. So we're going to polish our cockpits which is our cognitive brains to make us nice and shiny for all these tests that we're being crushed through with our children at school. I'm sorry, but Boris, why? Why? We really need this conversation. I've asked you many times, this is rude now. I'm coming to get you. So polishing the cockpits. So we're going to work on, and also, oh, let me tell you one thing, this is really delicious. In fact, if we might start with this. So I've already shared with you about the temples on a couple of my videos. So you can do it with the with you, the pads, only the pads of your fingers, so not fingernails. So if you've got big stuck on gel nails, don't do it because you'll feel like you're having a fencing match or being stabbed and that doesn't do anything for your cockpit. So you just rotate your temples like this and you can do it quite easily in the middle of a test. But I recommend you do this before school. Honestly, if you can just find it, it would take you less than five minutes. And recently I actually trained a school last week. I went and had a meeting with um, a year head and I suggested that this might be a really good thing to do after morning and afternoon registration and maybe as a little break in between lessons because the lessons are an hour, an hour and a half long which is a lot for nine to 13 year olds to cope with so it's nice to come up and have a breather and share these things that you can self-administer so you don't need to touch anybody else because I know touch is a really awful word at the moment you know but you could do it for yourself because it will also boost your immunity Look at all these things we're doing whilst having fun. So the temples you know about. And that, the reason that is so amazing is because the temples are the capital city of all our happy hormones and coping chemicals. Our daily dose, dopamine, oxytocin, serotonin, endorphins, all there. Three of them are made and stored there. And one of them travels up the side of the head, the dopamine, and is, is stored there. So that's the way to access it through massage. The other thing you can do is massage across the whole of the front of your head. And you do it gently but firmly, just with the pads of your fingers again. You know, if you look like a dartboard when you finish this because you've been jabbing your nails in your head, you're, you're not doing it right, darlings. So you need to just use the pads of your fingers and you go up and down the forehead. You don't have to close your eyes, just for some reason I always do because it feels a little bit extra delicious. 
So just you can you can do that and you can do that as many times as you want. You could do that while you're reading something. You could do that while you're looking at a teacher. You can do it as a class before school begins or before you start the next task or lesson. So it's really, really easy. The other thing you can do, and this is completely gorgeous, by the way, I get goose pimples everywhere when I do this and it looks a bit savage but it's absolutely lovely and it pushes all the blood and oxygen up to the brain that's what this one is going to do so what you do is you push your hands up really deep but your your finger pads are on your scalp they're not just in your hair because there's no point if you're just going to pull your own hair you look weird and you'll look messy so if you keep your fingers deep on the roots and push them up through your hair and make a ball and squeeze and lift and then release is the most wonderful feeling, I promise you. It'll, and even if you haven't got much hair, you know, just grab what you can. But it's really, really wonderful. And so say this is my hair, right, this cushion. I'm squashing my hands up like this, lifting the hair at the root and pulling it up. That's what I'm doing. And I know I look a bit weird demonstrating on a cushion, but the reason I'm doing this is because I want to empower you with these tools that you don't need anybody else to do for you. They're, that's your toolbox to get through the day. And I do it regularly, which is why my hair is looking about six foot wide at the moment, because I had to do a bit before I made this video as well. Anyway, so the other thing you can do, and this is really, really, really good, is you can also push your fingers up through the roots of your hair and if you massage the sides of your head, just with your finger pads, I don't use my thumbs because it's too much, just with your finger pads. And even if you have epilepsy, you can do this because it's not going to trigger anything. You're not doing anything stimulating. So it's, you know, that would trigger a fit. So you'd be absolutely fine. Just the finger pads, not the thumbs, because they're too much. And just massage the sides of your head. And on the sides of your head, that's where the dopamine travels up from the brain stem travels up from the hip deep in the hippocampus up the sides of the head and into the brain into the temples and into the brain so if you massage the sides of the head you're encouraging that dopamine so if you have a child or you yourself have adhd or add pathological demand avoidance you're not naughty kids i've said this hundreds and hundreds of times and i say it in all the talks i go and do and keep bashing that message in you are not naughty you just your brains don't make enough dopamine you're just wired differently and there are many 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 gifts and strengths that come along with those challenges so doing these exercises to help you focus will be really really good and they're very very soothing and they flood the brain with all that motivation and concentration that you need so it's really 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 fantastic for that also if you have dyslexia and you have short-term memory issues challenges or you know you find it really difficult to concentrate for long periods of time because lessons are being made longer so it's really really handy to have these tips to know how to get that old dopamine flowing they're really 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 brilliant you've also got a concentration point right at the bridge of your nose and you probably see people do it without even thinking going oh my god what was that again i i, I probably spend a lot of my day doing that actually in between things thinking oh my god because my brain is about a million miles an hour i'm sure i've got adhd i'm actually convinced i have i've never been diagnosed with that but i just I'm sure if I was, I'd be right up there. I probably, there wouldn't be a scale big enough to measure me actually, I think. But anyway, it's all good fun because you have this wonderful energy and you could channel it and it's fabulous. So life brings challenges to everybody, but it's, and we can't do anything about those, whether it's because we're wired differently or something's happening that, that we can't control, whether it's at home or school, whatever it is. But what we can control is how we react to it. So always remember that. And, and just fill yourselves with these wonderful, happy hormones, that beautiful, beautiful, sparkly feeling. And you watch and the whole classroom will be more productive, calmer, less stress on the teachers, more focus and attention from the kids and better memory retention. So you can have a lot of fun. It's brain gym, brain gym, polishing your cockpits, making sure that your flights go smoothly through the day. And on that note, I wish you a safe journey through this week and I will see you next week. Lots and lots of love to everybody. Bye bye. Take care.